everyone, it's Alicia from Young Caregivers Association, and today on my desk I have two things that I want to show you. The first is a piece of Play-Doh, and the second is a rock. Now, what do these things have in common? Well, not that much. A rock is hard, it's unchangeable, it's kind of stuck in that shape that it was designed to be. Whereas a piece of Play-Doh is moldable, it's changeable, it's movable, I can make it into any shape or size that I want. And so when I look at these two things, what I think about is that a rock is something that I can't change. It's stuck like this. No matter what I do to it, I can paint it, but it's really not gonna change its shape. Whereas a piece of Play-Doh, I can change it as many times as I want. I can make it bigger, smaller, longer. I can mold it and create it into what I want it to be. And so, I wanna use these two things today to introduce a really fun activity and a really quick activity about identifying those things that we can change and the things that we can't. What things in our life are a piece of Play-Doh and what things are a rock. For this activity, all you're going to need is a piece of paper and some writing utensils. So take a darker colored writing utensil and you're gonna draw a circle right in the center of your page. The circle should be about the same size as the page, a little bit smaller to leave space to write around. Then inside that circle, what you're gonna do is write the words, things I can control. Inside this circle is gonna be all those things that you personally can control. Whereas outside the circle, you're going to write the label, things I can't control. So outside the circle is gonna be all those different things that happen around you, but you maybe can't control yourself. So then you're going to take the lighter colored writing utensil, for here I'm using a pen, and you're just gonna start writing all the things that you can think of that you can control and that you can't control. You don't have to write in any specific order and try to think about how these things are applicable to your life. So for example, for young caregivers, there might be some things that happen in your life that you can't control that might be a bit different than your friends. Whereas there are some things that everybody can't control, like the weather. So try to take some time and think about all the different things that you might be able to think of. Then you can take some other colors if you would like and just kind of decorate around in the extra spaces. So here you can see I'm drawing some hearts in mine. I'm drawing them in different colors, maybe some smiley faces and really just making it your own drawing, your own activity. And you can do this for as long as you want until you decide that it is a completed photo. All right, so here's my final product. So if I look inside my circle at the things I can control, there are things like what I say, what I do, if I work hard, my attitude, what I'm wearing, if I'm smiling, and my feelings. Whereas the things outside the circle that I can't control are things like how other people act, what other people think, who my family is, the weather, other people's feelings, and what other people say. Now, I know sometimes those things outside the circle can impact the things inside the circle. So for example, if we look outside that circle, it's a lot about other people, what other people are saying, what other people are thinking. Whereas inside the circle, it's all about myself, what I'm thinking, what I'm feeling and how I'm reacting. And sometimes somebody outside that circle might say something that makes you feel bad or makes you feel a certain way or think a certain thing, and that's okay but we can't change what they've said. We can only change how we react. So we can still control how I'm gonna deal with that feeling or the coping mechanism I'm gonna choose or how I decide to talk to the person about it, but I still can't change what they said. So instead of focusing on the stuff outside of us and the things we can't control, we should focus on the stuff that we can control. How are we reacting to those things? How is it impacting us and what can we do? So essentially, Inside is the Play-Doh and outside is the rock. And so sometimes the rock and the Play-Doh are gonna come together and they're gonna have to commingle, but sometimes they're not, and that's okay. We need to focus on how we can adapt our Play-Doh and what we're deciding to do with it. How can we change and use the things we can control to impact and deal with the things we can't? So hope everyone enjoyed this activity. Every time you do it, it might be a little bit different and that's okay too. So have a great day, everyone, and I hope to see you all soon. Bye.